prefer, which stock do you prefer in technology other than NVIDIA? Yeah, so Scott, I mean, obviously no one's going to deny the great um, report that we saw from NVIDIA, but it just has made its valuation so rich. Two months ago, it was trading at 75 times trailing. Now it's 175 trailing. So we look at other names in the space like AMD. That's a name that we own um, that we would rather have based on the valuation that we're seeing. It's trading about half the valuation on next 12 month earnings versus NVIDIA. It's not that we don't have NVIDIA in our portfolio, we do in our large cap growth strategy. It's just an underweight for us. Um, you talked about a little bit earlier today, at these levels, this is actually a period where if we had an, a neutral weight or an overweight, we would be trimming that. Since we're underweight, we're not trimming, but we're adding to other areas like AMD. We actually added to Meta a little bit as well, trading at about 30 times forward earnings. So I think you can have some other names that are, have a better valuation, but still will gain some of the upside from the whole AI um, component. Speaking of, I mean, if nothing else, does this report from NVIDIA confirm the move in mega cap tech, NVIDIA included? Well, I'm a little cautious on this. It has been such a big run. The leadership is so narrow to just this small group of names. I have to think that at some point we're going to see that leadership either broaden out, which means these names will probably come back a little bit, or we'll see a rotation in leadership with a pullback here. So for a short-term trade, maybe you can get in and take advantage of some of these. Again, we would look at valuations first on to choose where to go, but I think we have to be cautious for a long-term run of this magnitude in these names. All right, Victoria, thank you. Good to have you today, Victoria Fernandez.